thinking more than more than the rounds that you'll have in your fucking pistol. That's your guess. Yeah. You're like, hmm, pistol. Yeah. Why did I come here again? Hmm. So, uh, right. Next round. Oh wait, no. This is the crying as approved round. Uh, and the villains heal all their stun. Ah, oh, well, that cleared up my head. So, uh, going through, Rock. What do you do? You're staying outside your why, door. Why? Oh, why did I come to Red Carpet? <laughs> Take a card, uh, Dana. What do you do? I open up Rock's window, see if there's anybody looking back at me. Uh, yeah. There, there. There's a uh, man with a couple. They've apparently left people out back, and they, they're they looking. They haven't seen you yet, but your guess is as soon as you come out the window, they'll probably use those assault rifles on you, guessing. But you've got the window open, so it's a potential escape route. Scott, what do you do? I... Uh... Can Ron, I really undermining your confidence, by the way, by standing there crying? Really undermining you. A simple action to take cover in the doorway. The whiskey doorway or a rocks doorway? The whiskey doorway. Okay, great. You've got some and cover. Then. And then? Cry. <laughs> no problem. Apparently, your confidence has been shattered by rock. So, oh, if I can simple action in the, in the same round, I, sure. I thought I spent the whole round crying and I get a card. Yeah, yeah. If I can yeah. simple action, I simple action in my doorway to take cover, too. No problem. Yeah, you're, you're inside your room now watching Dana open the window because apparently your room is smelly. So, uh, next round. Uh, discard. Um, uh, I have a question, point. Logan. Uh, we didn't notice smoke coming out of the house when we came in, or smoke. Yeah, there's. You said there's a hole in my room. Checking. Are you bar. talking about the spear hole in the wall? Oh, it's just a spear hole. Okay. You, a, you, you said the there's a hole in all. There's a hole in the wall with a spear, and I was thinking there's a huge well, hole. The, in the, wall. the spear's been taken down, but the hole remains. You're the one who moved the spear. I figured you know all about the hole. Um, I didn't move a spear from my room. Oh my, somebody else did then. Never mind. Yeah. Then I said that. Yeah, there's all kinds of interplay between the different PC groups, and I can't keep track of who does what to who anymore. So, yeah, that's, that's not me. It's not me. It isn't happening. It isn't happening. Villains are first. Uh, heroes are second. Attack is approved. Uh, right. Uh, Scott, you you and Rock are waiting for him to come down the hallway, and by gosh, they do not disappoint. You see, like, a couple of them looking around the corner. They're probably at around 15 meters away, like, checking the corners and stuff, gun corner. So for pistols, it's a half. If you had a rifle or an assault rifle, you're still at full. Because pistols suck ass compared to, you know, for the range value. Right. And plus your house is fucking huge because it's a mansion, which you've never realized before, which says a lot about you. Um, I, now, Sheila, since you're looking out the window, you can give me a, uh, a spot hidden roll if you'd like. It's free. Oh, I do like. I don't I did not get it, though. A fly goes right into your goddamn eye. You're like, ah, son of a bitch, why? All right, so meanwhile, what do you two want to do? Because the villains are scoping the corner, getting ready to come around. Uh, I crab walk towards the bag. Gotcha. Crab walk towards the bag. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You get to the bag. You can even open it this round. Scott, what do you do? I shout, call the police. Okay, anything for your action? And I fast draw my sword. Excellent. One I of shot, the, what do you want? One of the bad guys says, there they are. Yeah. And a different one goes, grenade, grenade, grenade. And uh, you're not sure what's going to happen next round, but you have, uh, you feel uh, unhappiness coming. Next round. Here's the first. The ones are first. Heroes are second. Throwing a spear at someone's approved. <laughs> round revision. Oh, but are you sure you want to use it on this round? They're much worse in dramatic combat. Well, I think if we go first, then we can shut the doors. I would just 
save that, please. <laughs> um, full <laughs> heal, reinforcement. Reinforcements. Dramatic well. combat is is laden with full heals and reinforcements, and if we have to fight these I guys, we're going to have those round revisions. Limited retrieve. Okay. Okay. I well, go, I will go to the next round then. If you are playing your round revisions, all right. A hey, round revision and then retrieve it. Okay. Villains are first. <laughs> Again, okay. any action that you have to roll for if you succeed is approved. So, a uh, couple of them toss uh, hockey pucks down here in your direction. Let's see how their throw rolls do because, you know, curious. So one of the guys lands way too close to his own troops, but not quite a fumble. So they're like, God damn it, and pull back around the corner. Other one just kind of pink, pink bounces. It's bouncing off of walls near you guys right now. It's still in motion because that's how you are actually meant to throw them. And so, yeah, it looks like it'll be blowing up real soon. Uh, so let's see. Uh, the other guys uh, prepare to charge around the corner. And give me another free spot hidden there as you fight off the fly, uh, <laughs> which is attempting to blind you. All right, I made that one. Cool. <laughs> Something unusual going on out there. There appears to be different guys in SWAT-type armor sneaking up on the guys uh, who are outside, possibly looking at you getting ready to shoot you. Checking real quick. Yeah. Uh, the, the guys who are out guarding the back and noticing some lady opening a window and they're like, hmm? behind them, other guys are sneaking up onto them. <laughs> Not sure what the fuck is going on with all this. All right, so, I would... Uh, what do you do for your round? I'm going to like have a... <laughs> Look quickly, grab through the rubble and find a hat on a stick, and kind of have it going over the window to no further problem. distract uh, them. <laughs> great, yeah, you, you, you get you get. Uh, um, uh, it looks like a nineteen seventies hat that some porn star might wear, type thing. And uh, I touch it with up. as few as fingers as possible. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see, Scott. What are you doing? Um. So there's a grenade on the floor right in front of me? No, the grenade's bouncing around right in front of you. Oh. That's the proper way to throw these things is so that the people can't pick them up and throw them back. Apparently, these guys are super well-trained. It okay. makes you sad and depressed. I slam the door and simple action 10 feet away from it. Okay, no problem. Give me a maneuver roll. Just because there's all these whiskey bottles and shit in the room that you're at, which is separate than the room they're at, and there's also slick spots of some unidentifiable liquids or something around, things you don't want to know about. And you even find an industrial tube made of it. AY. Oh, great. You managed to survive going through this fucking room. It's ugly. Okay, so, Russ, did I already ask what you were doing this round? No, you did not. I'm still waiting. Now is a good... Okay. Apparently, uh, you hear a door slam. You're getting ready. You've got your bag open. You're getting ready to reach in and get the goodness within. All right. So I grab a gun and some mags. Ha-ha! He says, picking up shit. <laughs> anyway, next round. Ah, he says. Heroes are amazingly first. The grenade thing's still going off. High-fiving another PC is approved. Right. Uh, let's see. Scott, you don't need to make any rolls. Sheila and Russ, uh, this time it's at full because you're cut. it's out in the hallway that's going off, but I need a uh, con slash endurance roll to see if you're going, ah, my nose is bleeding. My eardrums have burst. I'm fucked. Made it. Made it. Yeah, you guys are used to it. It's just background noise at this point. You've lost so much hearing. So... <laughs> It's like some kid with a stereo on, you know, in the next house. You're like, ah, da, 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 da. So, uh, right, Hero's turn. Russ, what are you doing? You've got a uh, I, I, gun. I got my pistol. I, I brandished my pistol. I uh, chamber around. You can wave it around like a crazy person. Great. Uh, <laughs> Sheila, what do you do? 
I'm I going. don't think brandish is quite that, but you know, if, if that makes you happy. It really is. So <laughs> what do you do? I'm gonna try to quick draw my pistol and I did it. Ooh, crit. Is that a crit? Are you doing anything else this round? You've got a gun in one hand and a hat on a stick on the other. I'm ready. <laughs> you totally are. Um, okay, and Scott, you're in a different room. Can't see them. There's a closed door between you guys. Oh. <clears throat> Simple action back. Open the door. All right. It's at that point when Scott and, or when both Sheila and Russ begin opening fire on you. You feel yeah. betrayed. <laughs> no, okay, next um, Logan, I had one question. Do I get a do I get a move with my um with my chamber round, or am I just chambering around? Because uh, I want to try and find cover too. Okay. Yeah. You you. There's no cover anywhere, pretty much in this room. There's only concealment because bullets go through pretty much everything you own. Right. Yeah. Okay. So some kind of concealment. You step behind the bed and hope that it blocks the bullets. It won't. Next round. <laughs> Those, are, Those are second and hindered. And uh, you, uh, you Okay, hear a round revision. We're hindered. Keep the same card. Uh, uh, I, you want I'll, I'll, let, let's I've, already, I've already flipped the card, so you can either have a brand new card or I can keep this card. Let, let's hear what the hinder is first. All right. Hey, right. You hear it. Use gas now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, next card. Next card? Are you playing the round revision? Is it next card time? I'll play a round revision because I might want to pick up a card at some point. Next card. The guy's very disappointed. They did. Ah, heroes are first, villains are second, and get a free reroll. Maneuvers approved, which for Scott, if you want to be in the same room as you guys, might be a good thing. Keep in mind, the enemy troops are about 15 meters away, getting ready to come down the hall in a neat formation with lots of guns pointed at your sword-wielding ass. So, heroes are first. Scott will do you first. You've got the door open. You're getting ready to come on down the hall like fucking maple syrup. <laughs> Fast draw pistol. All right. I was really hoping for a fumble where you just pitch it around the corner in their direction. But okay. And then you still got full action left. Quick. Where's my fast draw? You have no fast draw. What do you do now? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I, 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 can I see them down the, the hall? Uh, yeah, they're they're uh, for their you you can hold action on their round. They're going to be moving down the hall in formation with a lot of guns out to shoot you should you show yourself, which you'd be doing if you're looking at them. But they will be firing at negatives unless they fire through the wall. Okay, I will hold my action to Great. pop out and shoot them once they've moved. Great. Uh, Russ, what are you doing? I do a shoulder roll to the foot of the bed to get a card. Excellent. And Sheila, what do you do? Fail. I just kind of... He flops onto the bed and lays there spread eagle with a gun in one hand and then a bunch of mags in the other, and he goes, ha, ah! <laughs> You're thinking, there's no time for that now. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, I give up my hat idea, I toss my bag out the window, and I kind of try to see what happens out there. Okay. No problem. I, as you as you look out, you notice that the guys are not shooting at you right now, but uh, you see the other guys uh, are working on getting into position. Let me just check and see how they're doing. Low is for the ambushers of the people who are trying to... Jesus, these people suck ass. One of them breaks a stick. The other guys turn around. They're having their own little firefight now. So <laughs> nobody's really watching you at all, okay? Cool. So now we go for the uh, bad guys. Uh, they're coming down the hall. Uh, pretty much they're just simple actioning down the hall and holding their turns waiting for anybody to show themselves so that they can shoot machine guns. They're not interested in sprinting. 
Oh. Are you ones that come out in the hall to fuck with them? So they're not in range? Uh, for a pistol, you're in half, but uh, they're, they're 12 meters away exactly right now. They've gone okay. three meters. <laughs> um, do I have access to my spike spell or my slick spell? We have not gotten that done, so not yet. Okay. Damn it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'll um, add that noise into the remix, too. I, I just do, like, a warning. Quickly. Covering shot, stick the gun around the corner blindly oh. and fire. You do some Take suppressive them. fire. Jump Excellent. They're all going to. They're going to basically be shooting a large negative for your hand <laughs> because they've got lots of ammo. They just three round burst the shit out of your hand. I mean, they'd have to hit it through the wall, but they have no problem at all shooting through the wall with their fucking full metal jacket assault bullets. They just kind of burp, burp, burp. Wow, only one of them actually gets you. The rest are all it, it, you see part of the, the door frame collapse into the hallway from the fucking rounds going off. One of them did get a little piece of you though. Check on. Oh shit! I didn't expect anybody to actually go in the hallway. Um, <laughs> let me check something real quick here. No man would do that. No man would go in the hall. Now that's it's crazy a talk. That's right. She's got it. Let's see. Um, medium rifle. Oh, there it is. D10. Three round burst is like a double tap. So. Come low. You take two points of splinters into your hand. Ow. Ow. It hurts. You like the pain. Don't forget, this is the regeneration zone as well. Yay. Yeah. Just Thank God for that. that. So, uh, right. No problem. You're not even sure who these assholes are. Now, next round, you begin to hear lots of firing going on outside as well. Villains are first. Heroes are second, saying, who's your daddy, instead of doing any action, is approved. So, uh, which is really awkward, because Russ is still laying spread-eagled on the bed. He hasn't had a chance to get out of that yet. So, right. The bad guys first try to shoot more of Scott's hand, because they like it. There's one. There's two. Moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just shooting <laughs> yeah. through. I, I'm going for the through the wall. They're like, bah, bah, bah. <sighs> so you suck up some more damage because your life is not hard enough. Seven and four. Play Here, the... I have a card play if you wanted, Glenn, across the hall. I have it in the gate for you if you want in the gate. That's seven. Oh, I have still have the minimum damage card. Ooh, then it'd be one and one, I believe. That works. But oh, you yeah. might want to save that for an explosion. Too I late. can give you too late. All right. Uh, okay, so that, that works on... Uh, before, uh, it doesn't say whether it works on one attack or all attacks, but yeah, we'll go with all attacks. Fine. You take two damage instead of 11. So it's like one, one, two, two. Anyway, so, uh, right, and outside, lots of combat, and you begin hearing people yelling and stuff on the radio. Those for the church. Hmm. It appears that a pitched battle is going on very close by. Going through the list. Russ, you're laying on your bed. What do you do? <laughs> I get up, and I say, who's your daddy? Take your card, you freak. Hey, Sheila, what do you do? I'm jumping out that window. Goodbye, Give Rock. Give me a jump roll. <laughs> yes. Okay, and Scott. Jesus, they are they're chewing up, literally chewing up the, the uh, 
area. You can start seeing if they another round of this, you'll be able to pretty much just push through what's left of the wall. After Scott's done, I have an action. Uh, that, I go, was your, that was your action, sir. No, no, I got a card play. Oh, carry on. I, I, I go jump out the window. That'll put you in the front of the house. She's going to the back oh, of the house. I, I follow her window. That'll mean running across the hallway like the droids in Star Wars while people are firing down it, just so you're aware. You could stick to your part and go they already out the went. window. Huh? They already went. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Give me a fair warning here. Okay, so while he's deciding that, I'm going to play a skill re rearrange, and I'm going to um, I'm going to eat a eat a point of learning to add a point of willpower and give myself more hit points. Yeah. So, Scott, are you running across the hallway? Going, whoa, whoa, yes. Whoa, whoa. Great. Okay, now give him something new to fire at. Going for next round. And villains are first. <laughs> Reloading is approved. No problem. Uh, they begin chewing up the other side that you've gone into uh, because they can. They These guys apparently don't know that there's a big firefight going on outside, although they're beginning to hear some screaming and shit on the radio. So they shoot through the walls at a huge negative at you. Apparently have unlimited ammo. They really do. Using three-round bursts is rocking for them. Uh, they have big fucking magazines, and taped to those magazines are more magazines because they came expecting ultra violence. And plus, they only use like 12 rounds out of their 30 some round magazines. So you end up getting two hits, amazingly, a six and a 15 rolls. It's not good. Jesus Christ. Uh, they, they uh, 10 and 11. Fortunately, keep in mind that even if you take more hit points than hit points you have since you're in the Highlander zone, you're not going to probably die, but you may be either unconscious or dead, but then come back or something. Um, you still want to trade me that negate? Uh, yeah, sure. You got I got a round revision. I'll take the round revision, sure. Where did it go? Oh, it went out on the... All right, so Scott, it's, I'm going to trade. It's on top of Bill Murray. There's a negate. Oh, okay. That's right, Bill Murray, if you're watching this. Why? Anyway. <laughs> I have accepted. Okay. And negate. So getting rid of the 11, just taking the 10. And... I never got our armor. Hero point. <laughs> Shit, Boy, everybody get a card? I got to roll one dice less. I will re-roll uh, one of them for you. Negate one? I forgot. You guys are Highlanders. They're shooting guns at you. You have natural <laughs> armor. So you're, actually, your armor would do you no good in the zone. You have natural armor. You're Highlanders. So everybody <laughs> take... Actually, since uh, it could be more important than that, everybody refill your hands. You get a free wow. rally from the GM. Your new damage is 10. You are intended to die, Scott. <laughs> Sorry. Hero. I, you're, you're fucking doomed either way. Yeah. Oh, no. You ever had the feeling that Roll20 is trying to kill your ass? This hey, guys. Uh, I got a rod. Uh, no, this is just normal day in the life shit okay. here. Uh, get a new card. Regular Tom Fuckery. Uh, yeah, I got a reroll and a first aid plus twenty, which we may well need. Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. All right, I'm guessing this is not a prestige module. No, this is just a random encounter. Yeah. It's a dramatic combat for some reason, but yeah, no, I actually there's a really good reason why this is happening, but you're yeah, not sure of it yet. So, we'll never know. Bullshit. <laughs> so, uh, right. Damn you, Doc Fulton. I think it's now, yeah, it's now the hero's turn. So, going through the list. Russ, you're standing next to your bed. You know you're the daddy. What do you do? So, nobody shot Sheila? I uh, know. She jumped out the fucking window, though. 
Right. So we're villains first this round? Yep. And nobody shot her. You don't know. Do you want to go and spend your <laughs> round checking it out? Go, stick your head out. You can go stick your head out and look at her and see if she's got any bullet holes. I park her out the fucking window. Okay. Success. Aha, don't land says. on me. Don't land on me. Sheila, you land on my, I do a land on and land on my feet. You are soft and easy to land on. And I yell, parkour! Parkour! All right, I made my luck. He lands next to you and manages to look good, his porn stash flapping in the breeze. Meanwhile, <laughs> Scott, what do you do? Both of them seem to have jumped out the window. So I didn't jump last round? I think you ran through the room, got shot a couple of times, said, God damn it, this sucks. Okay, I'm jumping now. Aha! Out the window. Jump roll? Either that or you could yell parkour and try a parkour roll. I, I'm easy on this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, falls off on the side. You guys are like, God damn it. Now, if you miss your jump roll, that just means you missed the window. It doesn't mean you're not outside. Cause Now, you can go through <laughs> the drywall, the brick, the siding with a strength of negative 30 if you miss the window. I will really? allow you to roll that shit. Miss the window. Well, does that make your jump roll? No. So Why is go. the jump roll to hit it, the window? Yes, so, it's not a huge window. Nobody loves rocking up to give them big jump windows. Jump down from the no, height. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even require a roll for that. You're on the first floor. So Scott, I can no. give you a re-roll on Kool Aid Man. I've got a re-roll card if you want to try and Kool Aid Man this. Yeah, cool. Or can he, or okay. can he just be like slower at now? He's not cool jumping. I'm. I, I, I'll tell you what. I'll give him a secondary roll to see if he either suffers a knockdown effect or hits the side of the window and doesn't make it out. So it'll either be knocked down or it'll still be inside relying on being the Kool-Aid man in order to go through the side. Although, if he had a Big Jim Slade card, I'd go with Kool-Aid man. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll, I'll take the re-roll. Re-roll? Oh, the re-roll on the, on the jump. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Let's trade. Here you go. See the, I can see the enemy soldiers. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! And he goes, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a better, a better plan than re-rolling the Kool-Aid man. Oh, Accepted. No, the man's awesome. All right, we're good. Because okay. that, that way also rocks a room would have a big hole in it. Make a jump. Yay, you're outside with all the cool kids. No problem. Uh, meanwhile, you notice that the people who are ambushing the ambushers are apparently uh, done with them and yelling things like, Two, three, down on the ground to you guys, just so you know. Now, um, yeah, so next round. Villains are first, heroes are second. They all hold action to see if you get on the ground or if they should shoot you. These are not the initial attacking guys. This is the second force and that looks as though they've killed the in the back here where she was watching them looks like they killed the attacking guys and they're now attacking you for reasons or at least they they seem to be trying to capture you which is different than the other guys who are just trying to attack you do they have uniforms uh all their clothing is the same but it doesn't have any emblems or insignia or anything like that right the second looks, guys as well yeah yeah, they look professionally funded as well. In fact, if you were to guess that the first team and the second team shop at the same place, that could be. I bolt. All... Huh? I bolt, and while I'm bolting, I look for um, I look for escape routes. Duck, 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 they say. What are you two doing? There are plenty of uh, these people who are yelling down on the ground. One of them, for his action, even pulls out zip ties, and he's like, ah. I sprint in the other direction. Dug, 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 dug. Say some others. Sheila, what do you do? The guy I'm running. Really, I'm running. Really disappointed. Which direction? Uh, in rocks or uh, uh, Phil's? I'll follow Glenn. 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 Whoever he is. He looks like a PI. So, 
Excellent. Uh, everybody, uh, how's, how'd everybody do on their sprint rolls, please? Very good. Nice. Mm. Oops. Nice. Mm. You made it twice. <laughs> you made it twice. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Did Russ Monster make his? Oh yeah, just barely. Seventy six. Okay. Great. Yeah, but... All of the all of these guys fire you guys. You're gonna basically you get two people each. Uh, bad news is they're they're not at any negatives. They don't have to fire through a house. Uh, good news for you guys, they're firing rubber bullets at you. So, well, not that it really makes a huge bit of difference right now. But first, Russ. Stun damage. Uh, kind of, but yeah, it, it's kind of the same, except that it's a little less damage because rubber bullets are less effective and your Highlander. So instead of D12, rubber bullets, D10, Highlander, D8. So Russ ends up taking six. Meanwhile, on Sheila, pew, pew, she gets both of her rubber bullets. Yay, she says, and takes fucking 13 total, five and eight. And meanwhile, on Scott... I was really expecting two crits. I really was, because Rule 20 hates his ass. They're not ah, they're at a seven penalty shooting what? sprinting people. What's that? They're not at a penalty? No. I, PCs have never been at a penalty when shooting sprinting people. They generally welcome the uh, exercise. I'm hero pointing the eight damage. Okay. So, Logan, do I get a spot hidden? I'm looking for escape routes. You don't need one. Uh, actually, you know uh, that they're pretty much you're heading for the woods, I think. Uh, I'm suspecting everybody will eventually turn toward the woods. Unfortunately, that may also, because that is the only real cover and concealment in suburbia, mm -hmm. plus your grounds are fucking huge. And it's much more cover and concealment than the fucking golf course, which is lots of big cleared land. They'll probably end up coming after you in golf carts, shooting fucking assault rifles at your back, and that's just fucking disheartening. So pretty much the only thing you can go for, which is a couple of sprinting rolls away, is the wood. The thing you're worried about is that's where they may have come from because it's also, once again, the only cover and concealment to get to your fucking place. So your worry is that they may actually be there. That's fair. Maybe sprinting into more of them. Oh, well, it's better than it's better than zip ties for right now. They they should start shooting each other soon. There, well, the there's other people who are doing our stuff. The, you guys are up against the back door force, and apparently the uh, people who are now shooting at you took out the people that were shooting at you before. There's a lot of people shooting. Apparently, somebody did something that, yeah. So. Next round, essentially, it'll be three total sprint rolls get you into the woods. What you find when you get there, you don't know. Because the woods are thick, as previously discussed. But you do know of a neat place you can go to. There may be some old candle stubs and ritual shit. Next round, villains are first uh, and still shooting. Researching is approved. Um, if you guys would like to dodge, it will slow you down to three meters instead of ten, or you just be flat out sprinting your ass toward the woods and hoping to survive the constant barrage of bullets on your backs. I want to play at my card Rhino Hiding. Perfect time to play. Yes, yeah, so you can. You can. That means that you can do a sprint roll and pretty much just ignore their damage this round. So, yeah, yes, good. please. Uh, is any, anybody else want to try dodging, or do you just want to sprint and burn through some hero points on these rubber bullets? Straight up sprint. Mm -hmm. sprint. Cool. Um, cool. First, I'm going to play dissemination. Now is a great time to do some heavy card play. Yes. And I'm going to give Dana my two cards. Mm -hmm. She will uh, enjoy them. Thanks, Glenn. <sighs> <laughs> You have no idea why apparently very professional troops are hunting you guys. Uh, these guys are the kind of, they've got like uh, the heads up displays and shit like that in their helmets and everything. Are they better than the guys that were um, hijacking cable truck? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Way these better. Fucking amateurs. These guys are military. Okay. <laughs> You're not sure what, the, what these okay. guys are, but... Uh, Paramilitary, whatever. Actually, you guys can all make uh, listen rolls at negative 30. There's a lot of fucking gunfire for free if you'd like. Not quite. Yep. 
Glenn, you heard one of them talk to another in a foreign language that you've heard before because uh, uh, Dana's <laughs> nearly fluent in it, I believe. <laughs> but I didn't hear it. Right. But you've heard her say it. Hebrew? So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. This is not good, you're thinking. If the fucking Mossad is here with their paramilitary branch shooting at your back, you are not a happy fucking camper. So, oh, Etsy, what did you do? <laughs> I'm going to ignore shooting at Dana because she's cheating and ignoring all the bullets anyway. So, first off, uh, Russ's two guys pretty much they just continue shooting at you. One of them misses completely. The other one gets a crit with a rubber bullet, bouncing it off of your skull for a mere 13 damage. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, hero point that. All right. Meanwhile, over on uh, Scott, let's see how they do. Uh, critical, because Roll20 hates him. Hates you. The other one misses. So exactly the same thing as what happened to Russ. But only nine points of damage. Don't forget each round, you guys, to regenerate one hit point. Yep. I'll take nine. I like the big sigh there as you were thinking about what to do. So, uh, Right. No problem. You guys both take grievous bodily harm. If you can make your sprint rolls this round, you only have one more round, and you will reach the safety, maybe, of the woods. Sheila, you uh, uh, pretty much can... Uh, next round, you don't need to make your sprint. You can simple action into the woods to reach the edge, or at least a friendly tree to hide behind so that means you can dodge and do it. If anybody else gets a crit this round, they get the same deal. I, I have a 79 plus sprint, so that's five. Oh. I can see that Scott really... Oh, plus five meters. You're at the same deal if you make your sprint then, Scott. Okay. You make I made sprint. my sprint, but I have exactly 79 points, and I rolled a 79, so... Yeah, so uh, basically you're the only person next round that needs to make their sprint. The other two can dodge and simple action into the woods. You need to make your fucking sprint. That's all you can do next round while they shoot the fuck out of you, okay? Yep. Cool. Next round. Villains are first. Weeping is instead of running is approved. Heroes have a chance of getting knocked down should they take any damage. Right. So are you two wanting to try dodging? I'm going to throw yeah. a round revision on that. Yes. Oh, round revision? Give me the next card. Yeah. Okay. Here's the next card instead. Damn it. Villains are first. Nothing is approved. Nothing special. I was really hoping for a villain's reinforcement because then I'd have, like, just a couple lines of troops in the forest going, <laughs> So A uh, third uh, army. Yay. It's the battle of the three armies. So, uh, We're the uh, eagles. Yeah. Villains are first. Um, first, uh, we'll do Russ because I'm guessing he's not dodging and sprinting like a fiend. I'm sprinting like a mother, yeah. Only one of them managed to hit you for a mere seven points of damage as the force oh. of rubber bullet just penetrates and goes through your fucking torso. You're like, ah, at least it's rubberized. Meanwhile, uh, Sheila, are you are you dodging around? I'm dodging. Give me a dodge at full, then a dodge at negative 30. Oh, don't worry about the uh, um, full dodge. Give me a dodge at negative 30. Let's see what happens with that. One of the guys... He pretty much he's done fighting. Your one of your guys is pretty much done. I think his rifle jammed or something horrible like that. Either way, whatever happened to him, he's done. He, he he's gonna get a medic chopper out of here. So uh, <laughs> I made meanwhile, the budget at negative thirty. You made it. Yes. Wow. Okay. Great. Meanwhile, Scott, first dude, give me a dodge at full, Scott. Oh, never mind, he missed. Second guy, give me a dodge of negative 30, Scott, to avoid the damage. Nope. nope. He shoots you again because you can't get enough of Two more points. Just enough to keep you barely conscious but in great pain. All right. You feel Thank like you. you're made to suffer. I'm making my last sprint roll. It's all down to that. Success. Okay. You're all in the woods. Give me... As bullets continue whining around. Give me listen rolls. Success. You're, you're at full. Made it at half. Nice. Made it nothing special. 
Okay, since you made yours, everybody who made theirs, give me a Hebrew rolls, please. As yes, there are people in the woods. They can't see you. You can't see them, but they're ready and waiting for you guys to be captured. Apparently, did not make Hebrew. I rolled a seventeen, but I didn't make it because I might learn. Oh, <laughs> no, it's all down to Glenn who says that might be Hebrew. Okay, never mind. Right, you hear people talking and stuff and giving orders to each other. It sounds like a lot of people. Now, it is possible to get out of this, but you're going to have to be as slippery as eels. All that's going to happen is I'm going to flip a card, and if all three of you can make a stealth at negative 30, then <laughs> that guy will charge in from both directions and wonder where the fuck did they go? Because there's nowhere for them to go. Otherwise, they will get you in their, their vices because the people are coming for pickup and the other people are chasing you in. So, still the negative 30 this coming around here. The ones are first and all their stun is healed. My God, it's been a long battle, but I feel like I've gotten my second win. So go ahead and give me stealth at negative 30. If all three of you can make it, you simply disappear. And they are confused and frustrated. I didn't make it. Ah, I made it. it. I'll be captured. All I'm pretty not one. I'm <laughs> somewhere on a lawn chair sipping Mai Tais. So, uh, yeah, but uh, Sheila will get captured. The other two will get away clean. I'm going to try it. What? I'm going to see if I can. Excellent. No. <laughs> I'm going to try the hero point. I'm going to. Shit. Come on, let's burn a whole bunch of those suckers. I was going to say, what's wrong with being captured by a bunch of gun-toting people? Didn't make it. Excellent. No yeah, problem. They, they pretty much surround and capture you. The other two get away, which could be an interesting thing, though. Bet you I wish you hadn't thrown away that escape card now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's true. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't have 68 stealth? I do not have 68 stealth. I've been unable to level it up. Okay. No problem. They, they end up capturing you and putting you in zip ties and a uh, black hood on your head and putting you into a vehicle, and they're going to drive it off. They, you, heard, you heard somebody say, Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. And the other guy goes, Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew. Hebrew, Hebrew. The guy goes, and then they, you can, uh, Sheila can give me a, a roll because I think she's right the fuck there. You two are running. You know she'll catch up eventually. <laughs> nice chance to hero. I'll do. I'll try another reroll hero what? to they, for they don't, even, they don't even treat you rough. They just put yeah, a hood on your head. No, 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 we're oh, done. She, we're she done. Surrendered to them, and then this uh, is my new life. She's like, is that? Is that a fumble at minus 30, Sheila? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah you have probably. a 60 or less? A, a 60, a 70, a less than a 70 in stealth? Yep. Yes, I do. Yeah. She, she bites the zip tie You're and done. bites it up extra just to make sure. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> no problem. They're going to, they're driving her off. They're not in a huge hurry or anything. Um, right. I, let's see. You two, for dramatic purposes, see at a great distance the vehicle and you see her face like looking out the window like see ya and then like little metal cars and shit it's pretty much a nice capture vehicle they they brought so you guys see her being dramatically driven away from a great distance oh man i uh, think they, they're heading uh generally east all right, I'd like to try my Hebrew again. Although I I got really lucky on like every other day that I've had to roll Hebrew. Really? I'm not I'm that good at it. <laughs> I'm not that good at. No problem. But, oh my god. But today I am. Wow. Right. Uh, Idiot savant in Hebrew. They, yeah, they, that's really been. <laughs> they 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 are uh, like saying, well, yes, yeah, she was she was quick, but. Uh, Essentially, they're having one of the females search you right now and relieve you of stuff, which they're putting in a bag and then putting well out of your fucking uh, uh, grasp and shit. Um, and they're they're like, yes, where where are the other two? I don't know. They ran like, or, or they just weren't there. The rest of the teams will get them. Um, we should take her into uh, uh, see her. Um, yes, we will. I call the police. 
All right, no problem at all. I you called the police. Hello, are you calling nine one one? Nine one one. Nine one one was nature of your emergency Hi, uh There's a terrorist attack at this address. Ooh, Blah. They address. begin to get extra information and stuff like that. Um, they can hear gunfire going on in the background sporadically, so you don't get a lot of questions and stuff. They ask if you can get somewhere safe. Send SWAT. We yes. need a, we need an extra we need an extra group of heavily armed men with assault rifles. They want to know your name. I hang up. No problem. You look at your cell phone and think, ah. <laughs> it just shows the police. Okay. So um, right, you hang up. Your cell phone begins ringing. <laughs> you are still running right now through the woods because people are hunting for you and you have a ringing cell phone. You're like, ah, ah. Hello. <laughs> this is the police. We were cut off. What? Sorry, I dropped your call. <laughs> no problem. Uh, are you okay? Why are you breathing so hard? They say oh. as you sprint for everything you're worth. I'm running away in the woods. Oh my God! What's your name, please? Glenn. And your last name, Glenn? James. Glenn James, great. Yeah, they they and they start asking a lot of our questions like, where do you live? What is your address? <laughs> Stuff like that, because they really do this on nine one one calls. I have had to call nine one one before, and I thought it was kind of invasive. So they're asking all kinds of shit. Give me a fast talk roll to be a good liar, as opposed to Glenn. <laughs> James. That that's my name. I'm not lying. Oh, okay. They think you're lying. Uh, so <laughs> they totally think you're lying. They're, they're, one of them goes, if he's acting, he's the worst actor in the world. And everyone's like, oh. so I roll acting instead. Uh, no, that, uh, that, that was your BSing skill is your fast talk. Uh, but plus they can't get all the facial I'm nuances over. Telling the truth. Like, yeah. They don't believe you. So meanwhile, uh, right. You are uh, taken over, and they end up, uh, you're in the back, and up ahead you see a truck, and it lowers the back, and then you guys drive up into the truck, and then the back shuts, and then they take you to a, 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 a way. I will get back to you in a second. I want to find out what these two guys are doing because the police go tearing around looking for stuff. Actually, they're not really looking for you. They're worried about the fucking terrorist attack going on. But apparently they had a truck ready just in case they need to get away. They didn't need to because there's a terrorist attack going on. And so both sides are working on exfiltrating right now. You two are running through the woods. You're still on the phone with 911. They're, they're <laughs> talking to you and shit. And one of, one of the ladies like, so how's your day going aside from the terrorist attack and shit? You cannot fucking believe it. So what are you two doing? I love how they're going down the checklist while he's running through the woods like a madman. Uh-huh. That's awesome. I think that's exactly what would happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, are you guys just continuing to run until you feel safe? Can I slow down? Yeah, yeah continue to run until I feel safe. Both of you are long distance running. Uh, you don't feel safe yet. Made it. Success. Oh, you guys both made your long distance running? Yeah, I got parkour, man. I got 60 in that. Oh, shit, yeah. No problem. Yeah, you guys are doing the Conan jogging away. Eventually, you uh, get to a place where you feel safe. Right now, you're wishing you had low jacked your teammate. Mm hmm. <laughs> You're th you've been thinking about getting one of those pet uh, chips and sticking it under her skin while she was asleep, but she'd probably kill you when she woke up from it. Uh, so She has a phone, right? Yeah, you have no idea. Yeah. Um, do, I, do, I, do I know where Glenn is, Logan? Uh, yeah, both of you guys, or one of you guys give me a lock roll. If you make it, then you guys are... You're like, ha ha, there he is. Oh, yes. I'm also safe. Are you safe? Where is she? She's. Oh, wait, roll 20 hates you. I'll try that. Yeah. Yeah, that's luck at half. 
Hooray! Yes, you guys uh, uh, do the thing where you see each other across a field of wildflowers. <laughs> you slowly run toward each other. And grapple. <laughs> <laughs> a big hug. Turns into more of a struggle cuddle at that point. Great. Okay, so. <laughs> they got Dana. Yep. We should get to a vehicle hey. and pursue. I called it in. You're what? On the phone, sir, says the lady on 911. So, um, how long have you lived at that residence? I hang up. <laughs> I turned off the phone. Okay. <laughs> I, I called 911 and told them it was, there was a terrorist attack. Oh, well, yeah, one more armed force out there is probably a good idea, right? I don't know. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's try and commandeer a vehicle and, and get after Dana. Right. She's been gone for a while. A okay. while. Yeah, I think, I think I'm uh, healed now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Your yeah. Pump are all healed? Yeah, 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 you guys are all healed up. You heal freakishly quick yeah. in this zone. Even Glenn. <sighs> Maybe we talked to Etsy. I think they were speaking Hebrew. Who? Etsy Blumen Blumenfeld Blumenthal. She's the executive at Bobcat. Who? Uh, oh, the executive. Yeah, very sharp. Might know something about this. Might not. I don't have her number. I remember we have to go visit her in person. Etsy Etsy Blumenfeld. We found that book in Hebrew once, and then. Yeah, don't talk now. about that. You know nothing about that book. She was really scary about that is, book. Is that what this is? I hope not. If so, she's in trouble. I'm just thinking that she uh, she might have something. Okay. Uh, to make a long story short, before I cut to uh, 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 Dana Zool. She got nothing. She has no idea. She's going to make some phone calls. You guys end up sitting around for a few hours. I'll get back to you in a second. I mean, it, it takes like over an hour to get to see her because she's a fucking executive and she's busy. Mm -hmm. um, but then time passes and stuff. So meanwhile, uh, uh, and the should, I, in the should I call back the police and tell them that they abducted Dana? <laughs> <laughs> or did I not see that? Did Esty I see funny. that? Esty goes. You forgot, huh? Nice. <laughs> no, did I see that? Uh, yeah, she, he said yeah, that there's the, 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 the dramatic thing of her, like, yeah. with her fingers going, ah! Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we both saw that. Yeah, you, you call back the cops. By the way. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> <laughs> they, they want you to come into the police station and stuff so you can give statements and everything, which pretty much for you two, yeah, it's going to suck up longer than it'll take for her to either return or be in an unmarked grave in the desert. Either way, okay? Your day is gone between the fucking uh, uh, theater exec and the cops, which fortunately you've got, you were at the theater exec when you called the cop. So she sends the, the uh, lawyers with you. So basically you're going to be getting grilled by the cop. Oh, no, we're not going into the station. Oh, uh, yes, you are. She yes, says. we are, Scott. We just called them and told them somebody was abducted. We're going into the station. Yeah. yeah. Unless you want to go renegade in this. Uh, no, you're going to make she me. She doesn't recommend that. It's bad for your careers, boys. Don't worry. We'll send the company lawyer with you. As long as you got nothing stupid like weapons on you when you go to the police station, you're fine. Um. I put my weapon on the table. Do you have any marijuana or dope on you as well, she says? No, nope. nope, I'd like that back when we get done with questioning. Uh, cost me a pretty penny, but thanks for the uh, tip. She rolls her eyes. She's like, I can't fucking believe you people. Yeah, don't don't bring anything illegal in the police station. They don't like it, okay? Get I got it. a license to carry this thing. Okay, read my lips. Don't bring guns in the police station. They no, I know, I know. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. She, says. she just puts it in her desk drawer. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, I also to... set down my 
guns. Yes. Yeah, I figure I figure you guys aren't doing the fuck it, I can smuggle it in. Since apparently <laughs> this out, let me roll all that on a police station. executive can overpower me and arrest me. Yeah. They they meanwhile they tell Dana the scariest you're in the van with a bunch of fucking heavily armed guys. A couple of them with uh stun stunners, like the touch somebody type stunners, just in case you get a little rowdy. And they tell you the scariest thing you've ever heard. One of them says, don't be afraid. <laughs> hey, Logan. What? Bookkeeping, uh, can you tell me what the outpost, the name of the outpost we were supposed to check in Gothic Zone? That mission I didn't get in my notes. Oh. Later I will. Let me Thank concentrate you. on her. Ask me after I'm done with her, and I'm happy to do that. Okay, very good. Cool. So... Uh, they put a hood over your head so you can't tell where you're going. They drive you for a couple hours. They don't do a lot of talking with each other uh, other than one guy asking there about his colon problems or something like that. And the guy's like, I don't want to talk about it. You should talk about it. They're kind of bullshit. So eventually they uh, get you out there. They have you walk to a thing and then they lower you into something. Uh, they re release the zip ties off your hands, but they, they tell you to keep your arms down uh, at your sides or they will re-zip tie you. They then bury you up to your neck and take off the hood. They are using, have you ever seen the things used to pound down uh, dirt and stuff? The, yes. Do, 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 do. They use those to pound down the dirt around you. There are four empty holes next to you. And then some lady that I don't think you know eventually comes. They put a little umbrella planted in the dirt. So, because you seem to be near some sort of like abandoned big plant that did big things. Oh, give me a e, industrial engineering role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Okay, you can get a check and learn if you make it. Fuck it, I know. No. Nobody puts points in the important skills. I don't understand you people. Anyway, so you got an umbrella. In fact, they even they get a drink with a straw, and they, they have that right next to you. Uh, they make sure that none of the bugs and stuff come on you and whatnot. And then for some reason you don't know, planted in the ground, like about two feet away from you, is two chopsticks. They look like normal wooden chopsticks. Okay. And eventually, uh, some people show up. Uh, did you ever meet uh, Danielle Garant? Uh, yes. I think so, but it's been like... Yes. Somebody, <laughs> somebody that you're like, ah, I wish I had better notes shows up. And also, uh, some other lady uh, shows up, and she's got a baby because they like to bring babies to watch people being buried and stuff. And she says, hello, and she gives the baby to the Daniel lady, who goes, hello, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> the other lady, have you ever met the uh, um, uh, Matty? No? Uh, she squats down in front of you and she says, do you know the girl with no name? The woman with I no do name? I do not. Wow, that's unfortunate. That's going to make things a lot harder for you. I have I have heard many stories Let's about her. Let's kill her together. <laughs> she says, well, <laughs> she's my girlfriend, and I love her very much. Oh. Oh, boy. It's not where I thought this was going. Awkward. Shush. She says, so... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm thinking that you, uh, travel with, uh, the rock I've heard. Yes. She pulls Sometimes. out pictures of you I and have, the rock. But not always. <laughs> she just keeps pulling out the pictures and she goes, oh, I see. And they're from various missions and stuff. And you're like, God damn it. How long have I been under surveillance? It looks like this pulled from different cameras, like, uh, security cams of like gas stations and shit like that. And she goes, I see. She puts them into a folder. She goes, I know he knows her. So you get to give a message to uh, 
that uh, I didn't have sex with that man. This is an immaculate conception. Do you understand? Do you believe me, right? You believe me? And she's getting real in your face. She is the, one of the most scary people ever. It's like being interviewed by Batman's The Joker. You have that same kind of feeling. If you had testicles, they'd run off by now. At that kind of feeling. I've, I think to myself, she might sexually fight me. Yes, yes, she might. She says, so I, I want you to get a message to, to the woman with no name that I love her very much and I didn't cheat on her and that we're currently at war. Also, she then pulls off her sunglasses and her eyes have nothing but white in them. Oh. She says, do you understand? I understand the message. Um, is there some sort of lore role or something that of Actually, what is with just, this lady? They're just like the rock's eyes, but his are completely brown. Hers are completely white. No irises, no pupils, none of that weird shit. Not even any blood vessel problems. Just white. His are just brown. Scarier and scarier. And she says, I need you to do this thing for me, okay? She kisses you on the forehead, smiles at you. All right. Okay. She goes, okay, now that we're friends, you can have the chopsticks. Open it up. She says, open your mouth. <laughs> she sticks them in your mouth and goes, start digging. And she heads off with the other lady. You have no way to dig yourself out other than the chopsticks in your fucking teeth. That's scary as fuck. Yeah, I'm going for it. Okay. <laughs> simple at full. It just takes hours. A simple at full dex slash maneuver roll. Uh, all the mercenaries. <laughs> all the mercenaries. No. You drop the chopstick and you're trying to tongue it back into your fucking mouth and you think... I'm going to fucking die here. This sucks ass. That would be in real life. That's what would happen. You're thinking if you die, then maybe you'll come back somewhere else that so you're not buried up to your neck in the fucking <laughs> hard packed dirt. They did leave that construction thing that packs down dirt, though, so if you can catch somebody else if you want to keep that. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you think you're going to die here. Yeah, I guess I'll re-roll. I don't have any cards for... Oh, oh I'm, wait. I'm, I'm, Unless I'm, if you let... I mean, you will... The, the other PCs will have, like, three days to find you, but then we'll play the Name That Town in California game, and yeah. I'll give yeah. them, like, uh, 20 towns to guess at. Because my bag is, like, out the window at the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're, you're, they, they left your, your shit under shade way out of reach okay can i use the quicker picker upper on the chopsticks the card yeah yeah i'll let you do All that right. give me a new <laughs> fucking roll to to make them work because this is that... not as easy as it seems so it's it, the yeah. maneuver maneuver uh, deck slash maneuver yeah but yeah All right, i made that one that one was use the card play i love it <laughs> 